Hey guys, this is Matt with Comex Gaming and welcome to another Source Mode tutorial. So today we're gonna do a cool plugin that someone requested and basically it's gonna add a tag before the name. Um, you can also use this in roleplay for a gang system, you know, you can have different gangs and players can decide on which gang they want to be. But it's just going to be a tag before the name. Uh, we're going to use SQL Lite, something that we have never used until now, um, to save all the stuff because I don't want to use key values anymore. So we're going to get, so we're going to use uh, SQL Lite, which does not require any SQL server, uh, remote or local. Doesn't matter. Doesn't require one. It comes already with source mount, so yeah, it's better. So we're gonna use that, um, and like I said, it's gonna have a, the the tag before the name, and it's gonna go in square brackets. So it, it's gonna look like this, not like that, but like this. Tag name, and what's the message, right? That's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna also um, do a sound because we want to override a message. Um, what's gonna happen is that it just won't do a sound since we're gonna print to chat all. So we're just gonna do a sound. There are other ways of doing that, but I'm just gonna go with that one since yeah, it's the most convenient one. So let's get started. So first of all, we want to public um, on plugin start. Um, before starting in here, before starting with all the stuff that goes in here, we want to do this static. Oops, static. I can't spell. Static. There we go. Handle colon um, db. So the same thing we always do when we're working with um, databases. And we're gonna declare a string error um and two hundred should be enough. If not you can modify that. And here we wanna do um um set up db. And down here we're gonna make a public set okay, set up db and we're gonna start coding. So the first thing we want to do is use a new function called SQL Custom Connect. So SQL Custom Connect Custom. Sorry, Connect Custom. Um, we need to declare some key values: um, an error and a max length and a persistent thing. Like it almost takes the same parameters as, as the other one. Um, so hold on for a second. So since we need key values, as you can see, we're gonna have to set them up, right? So key values are not only used in a file to keep data over there. You also use them in scripts like temporary key values that you're gonna remove or delete once the plugin is done executing them. So we wanted to do a new handle called keyv for key values, right? And we're gonna create key values right and here we want to type I don't know connection something like that you can have any name here like it doesn't matter you just need a name and in here we're gonna put key v comma the error is gonna be our error variable that we declared before and um, the max length is going to be 200 and persistent true I think, right? Shit. Okay, so I grabbed this from my databases.cfg. You all have that one in um, source mod for slash config configs folder, so you can get it from there. So true, um, 
and what we need to do here is start um, assigning data to the key values. So, um, key v set string our key values, the key and the value. So we're going to close that. So the driver is going to be SQL light. I'm going to check later if that's how you spell it with all the capital letters and stuff, you know. Our host is not needed and we need our database. So database is going to be um, tag db. We're going to call it that way, right? And we don't need this anymore. Um, if, we're if you're connecting to a remote database via um, or via this command, then you need to set up the other key values like host, user, password. You do the same thing I did here, but with the with those ones. So yeah, um, I'm gonna change this to skill light because I checked online and they always type it with um, lower letters. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Um. Okay, so we're gonna test it later to see if it works. Um, hopefully it will. So we want to close handle key v, and we're not gonna close the database handle since we're gonna use it later on. We want to have a persistent connection with the database. So now we're gonna start with the database handling uh, itself right so we're gonna do SQL query and oh, where is it oh yeah DB should be yeah I forgot to sign it here derp DB equals there we go um, so SQL query create table if not exists The table name is going to be, um, no, e, um, user data, data, and here we were gonna assign what we want to put in there. So we want to start with this team ID, which is going to be text or varchar, but yeah, it's the same, um, and the tag, pretty much. So. Archer, can we do it? Let me check online. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, you can do this, but we're gonna do not null at the end um, with capital letters, not null, and same for this one, not null. Since this is a Q SQL light, um, not all the SQL syntax is correct here, so it's kind of different um <clears throat> so creative uh, blah 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 yeah so these are all the only things we're gonna need because we're, n we're n we don't need to save any more information for this client um so we create the table if it doesn't exist and then we create the data right here we connect to the database that we are defining here and since this is SQLite, we don't need a host or a user or a password or anything like that. But we don't need it. Um, so one thing we want to do first is if db equals invalid handle. This means if it couldn't connect to the database then we want to do um, I forgot the name of this function um, set fail state can what the fuck cannot connect to database and yeah we need the, the percent s percent s um sql get error yeah db no for the query a database or a statement had yeah database okay. um error uh, 
So we're gonna put this here. We want to get the error, and then we want to print it out here. So we put error, and it prints out. So before this, I always like to type some backslash ends to break the line, so the fail state uh, message can be re read. Um, this is just a personal preference, but you can do it. I like it better. Um, so yeah. Why aren't we closing the database handle here? Because we are assigning it to a global variable because we want to use it later on. So public on map end and here is where we want to close handle db on map start, not on plugin start. Because if we're ending the handle here we, we need to call it later on again. It's gonna do this for nothing, but yeah. The next thing we want to do is um let's see. Mm, we we are going to allow the client to set his own tag, but we're also gonna make a command for the admin for an admin to change the the tag. Plugin start. Okay, um, reg console cmd and reg admin cmd. For the console cmd, we're going to do sm set tag, pretty simple command set tag, and the description will still be nothing. Um, sm set player tag, because we need something different. Command set player tag. ADM flag underscore um, slay. You should all know what this means and all the arguments of this function, right? The name of the command, the callback, the flags, and the description, right? So, yeah. Same for this one, only that it does not have flags since it's a public command. Um, and for today, we're going to end here public action command set tag cl client args and we're gonna copy and paste not like that but like this okay return plugin handle same thing tab always indent your code correctly because it's easier to read and you're not gonna get any warnings in the uh, compilation pro process otherwise it's gonna just throw some stupid errors or warnings and it's really real annoying so yeah just avoid it by pressing tab every time you open a curl brace and pressing shift tab every time you close acrylic brace. Shift tab is going to decrease the indent and tab is going to increase the indent. Um, actually we're going to we're going to start building this command. Uh, command set tag for the public. So public um, whatever um, if args is less than one so if we have less than one argument we want to um, reply to command which I didn't type correctly sm please enter a valid tag usage god damn it usage oh my god set tag because they're probably using the, the chat trigger so set tag and um, I forgot the name tag name so we're gonna do it that way when you put that it means variable so you can put anything in there well not anything but you get the point so when you enter a tag it's going to assign it by new string arg1 and um, I don't know 20 
Actually, no, no, no. We're going to do 10. And here, later on, yeah. If. Um. Get him the art. What am I saying? 1, arg 1, uh, 10. So size of arg 1 is going to just going to do the same thing. There we go. Um, no one do if uh, str len yes. Arg 1 is greater than 10 characters. Um, actually, ten is t just too much. Five. So here we're going to do six, just in case you know that. Is. Print to chat, or reply to command rather. Client. Sm. Your tag is too big, big or long. I don't care. Um, comma. The max of chars is five, and we're going to reply. I mean, return plugin handled to immediately stop the plugin if this happens. So what I'm doing here is saying, okay, if the if he typed the command slash set tag and nothing after it, it's gonna show this because the arguments are less than one because there there are no arguments. But if he types um, that and something else like my tag then it's gonna go here it's going to create this string it's going to get what I typed here and it's going to store it in this variable once it's here we're going to check if the length of this variable is more than five then we want to reply to command that the tag is just too big or too long and that we cannot continue that's what we return plugin handle to stop immediately so thanks for watching guys, um, hope you liked the video, please rate that if you do because I'm totally busy and I'm doing this for you. I get nothing in return so please rate the video up, subscribe to the channel um, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.